is 3.40 a.m. I'm about to make an impulsive decision. Oh my god, actually good lighting? Is this what happens when you film during the day and not at 2 a.m.? Oh god, my hands are shaky. How do people do this? How do people hold cameras? Oh, this is not working! <laughs> Hi, it's me, the next morning. So I was gonna talk more about this, you know, when I was filming the time thing at 3.40, but I started to go off onto a tangent about rambutans, so we're gonna do this again. I made a video a while ago talking about how I had short hair for 10 years because uh, it was part of the school rules and I hated that, which is why I immediately let my hair grow out when I transferred. So it's been this way, I've been letting it grow for two years, I haven't cut it at all. And you know, it's finally at a length where it can be considered as long. So now I'm gonna cut it! So I wanted to get it cut really short, I don't know why, I think I'm in the midst of a meltdown right now. And my friend was like, you should think that through, and I'm thinking, yeah, maybe. So my friend asked me if I would consider the wolf cut, which is a style that I think is pretty popular right now. So I showed that to my mom and she told me immediately, no, your head will look huge, which is fair. And then I showed her a shorter version, which is this one. And she she she, she thought it was it would it would look pretty nice. So we booked an appointment and I'm getting it cut in two days. Should I have thought this through more? Perhaps. Do I wanna do impulsive stuff before I go to my twenties and become very sad? Yes. Listen, I know myself. Once I reach the age of twenty, I'm gonna think I'm really old and I'm gonna stop doing anything fun. Let's see how it goes. Hello again. We have T minus two days until the haircut. And it just occurred to me that I'm an overthinker, which means I'll probably go back on this decision. So to make sure I go through with this decision, I'm just gonna have to force myself to go through with it. There we go! It's time! Let's play the game. Am I wearing trousers today? Yes! So when I showed the hairdresser the picture references, I was told I had to remember to blow dry and style it in order for it to look nice. And that immediately made my lazy ass regret everything, but it was too late to change my mind, so in we went with the scissors. Everything went pretty smoothly, I honestly thought I would be more sad at the imagery of my hair that took 2 years to become long, after 10 years of being forced to be kept short, get cut away, that was not a good sentence, I need Grammarly. But I believe that change is an inevitable, beautiful thing we must learn to accept into our lives in order to move on and grow. Also, I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't see sh I haven't dyed my hair in like two years as well, so it was cool to finally see some light brown tips be removed. My mom was helping me film and trying her best to capture all the angles, while the staff just stood there probably wondering if we were journalists here to cause a scandal or something like that. All the staff were really nice, by the way, I love this hair salon. Now when the lady told me I had to blow dry my hair, the first thing I thought was, what the heck does that mean? Because it sounds real complicated for someone whose hair routine is basically just sitting around and waiting for the water to eventually evaporate. We use science in this household. Apparently it's just using the hair dryer, which I think I'm capable of doing. As unrealistic as that sounds. There was also talks of gel and oil and all that, but I tuned it out because I was busy trying to rewatch the entire Hamilton production inside my head. My mom was doing a great job recording too until she accidentally put the camera in slow motion. So now I have multiple clips of dramatic hair cutting. Could I speed it up? Yes. But do I want to just put cinematic music over it instead? My mom eventually figured it out though and we were back on track. I looked like I was trying to kill my own reflection through the power of sight, but that happens when you're trying to see what your hair looks like, but all you get reflected into your retina is this! Also hair kinda looks like shredded string cheese, what's up with that? 
Baby hair is just shredded string cheese with extra steps growing out of our scalp. And that's why people who drink milk tend to have better hair. Because dairy products are a great source of biotin, vitamin B7. It is known to fight hair loss and it can also make cheese. I forgot where I was going with this anyways. Apparently, my hair was akin to a greasy rat. Because she asked if I could let them wash my hair so that the after effects would be clearer. So off we went to the hair wash area. Now getting your hair washed is a real doozy of an experience. The amount of trust one must have for the other person to not put soap in their eyes is beyond comprehensible. Like I wouldn't trust my spouse with that choice. Like I wouldn't trust myself with it. There would probably be a 7 out of 10 chance I might accidentally use cyanide instead of soap on myself. I mean I used to eat ants so it's not that hard of a reach. Now pause. Here's a question I have for all you guys watching this. When one lies down in a public area like this, what do you do with your legs? I tried lying down normally, but has anyone noticed how when you lie down, your two feet kind of decide to split and get a divorce? I don't know. It looks weird. It looks like I've just been murdered and my legs are crap raving about my death. So I tried crossing them instead and you could see through my very mosaic blurred facial features that I'm honestly having a hard time deciding whether or not I should uncross them. Because crossing them makes it look like I have to pee, but uncrossing them will make it look like I'm trying to hide the fact I need to pee, even though I don't. Why did my mom decide this station of haircutting tools was important enough to film? And now she cut to the hair on the floor again, but the question remains, do I cross my legs or oh, never mind, we're done. So we were on a tight schedule, thus it was decided that this hair drying process was a two men's job. These two amazing women got out their hair dryers and went ham on my hair. They named the wolf cut after a nocturnal predator because it was like nighttime, I couldn't see shit. One of the sweet staffs, bless her soul, was trying to blow and comb my hair straight down. Which, to say the least, made me look like a shaved almond. There weren't many clips of this because my mom and I were confused since, as you can see, the wolf cut is in fact whoosh whoosh to the back or whatever it was called, so we were asking if that was intentional. The answer? I have no idea. It was in Korean and I zoned out, but the manager came dashing in and speed ran blowing my hair and making it look nice. She was so focused that I think she didn't realize the hair dryer was facing the wrong way, so I ended up getting knocked in the head with it. And soon enough, after some magic straightener thing with the flip flip flicky flick, I don't know what it's called. I have I will not be able to recreate this. This is this is a horrible decision. Why did I decide to get this haircut? And some oil or whatever that is, the end result was finished. Light. So this is how it came out. <laughs> <laughs> Feast your eyes because this is going away once I take a shower and I'm gonna have to learn how to do all of this myself Oh no, I actually quite like how it turned out. My mom actually suggested that we get it cut shorter next time I keep thinking she can hear me because I'm filming during the day. Fun fact, I'm actually balancing my phone on my window right now so like my neighboring houses can see me just talking just looking at them and talking to them Am I glowing? Okay, 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 I stopped glowing, alright. I guess I just ascended into a higher level of being with this new haircut, which is always a good sign. But yeah, here's that's just a quick little video. I uh, hope you liked it. Eh <laughs> he Bye! Ka! 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 Why is this so long? You have to make fun of me, I'm going to make fun of you.